So I've been using this micro DNC2 for the Haas TM1 and it works great except that recently it seems to have lost its system disk and it's supposed to have a four gigabyte internal I'm assuming micro SD card. I'm gonna open this up and see what's inside. It claims that the internal memory is upgradable just by replacing the card but it's not accessible from the outside so I'm gonna take this apart and see what's inside and see if I can get this system disk to come back up online. And the reason is that I would like to be able to store some programs inside this micro DNC rather than always having to use the USB, although there are two USB ports. I removed all the screws from this end, the USB connector end and power switch end and I can pull this out a little bit. It's got the antenna wire, you gotta be careful with that. And pull this out a little bit. The cable is hooked up to the front for the switches. So you'd have to take off the other end if you wanted to pull this out all the way. But I found back here that the micro SD card is right here and it's been hot glued in. Presumably this hot glue was used to keep it from coming out due to vibration. That wasn't terribly difficult. So this SD card holder actually has a lock built into it so the card won't slide out when it's locked. You get to push back this piece of sheet metal on top. There's still some hot glue in the way. And then lift up the piece of sheet metal and then you can get to the card. So I suspect that this is a... So this is a very cheap micro SD card. And getting a good brand micro SD card might be better to work reliably. Okay, so now that I've reseated the micro SD card, when we go into the folder, there is a system disk now that shows up. So that micro SD card was just not properly connected anymore and had to be reseated. So the card is still good, but those cards are really cheap. So like I said, I might get a better quality card, like a SanDisk or something. And if I plug in a USB key, that should also show up. I need to mount this a little bit better. This magnets are not very strong. Okay, so the USB key also shows up, so I can choose either one. Now I actually have to change drives. To this one, what happens when I unplug and plug that back in? Oh shoot, it was more convenient when the internal drive wasn't working because now every time I'd have to like go to menu, change drives, do that extra command to get over here, that feels less convenient than before. I wish it would just default to the USB drive as soon as you put it in. No, there's a setting for that. Properties. No, 